Marlins. Philadelphia beat Florida for its first win on Friday night. Top third, Jimmy Rollins at the plate. There's a hit to center field. Ruiz, oh, it gets by Diaz. Ruiz scores. Fred Myers is going to score. Watch J. Rowe fly. He might try it. He's going to. Here he comes. It is an inside the park home run. Jimmy Rollins. Myers going to work from the Rollins' third here. home run of the year. Phillies up three to one. Those were the only three runs Dontrell Willis gave up in six innings of work. Josh Willingham almost. Hit for the cycle, fell a single short, but he had four RBI, and the Marlins win it eight to five. Rich and Reds in Cincinnati says it was so cold in Cincinnati on the Greyhound buses, the dogs were riding inside. 30 degrees, 25 mile per hour winds. Bottom of the first, Tony Armas on the mound, Reds down two nothing. Adam Dunn with this fly ball. Xavier Nady goes for the ball, and it goes off his glove for a home run. Pirates manager Jim Tracy said you see some strange things in this kind of weather. Dunn's third home run of the season, game tied at two. Bottom of the fourth, bases loaded, Edwin Encarnacion making the most of his opportunity. Two runs score, three hits for Encarnacion. The Reds going to win it 7-5. At home, hoping to dust off the A's on Saturday. Bottom third, Angels down 1-0, runners with second and third, nobody out. Vladimir Guerrero up in the direction of Travis Buck. He makes a sliding catch. And that was the good news for Oakland. The bad news, Gary Matthews Jr. tags up and scores, and he ties the game at one. Take another look, though. Great catch by Buck. Good hustle. Ignores the wall and makes the grab. Top of the seventh. A's down 2-1. to one. Runners on first and second. Check this out now. Mark Ellis fails to get the bunt down. Eric Chavez car between second and third. Mesa is Torres makes the throw, but it glances off Chavez's helmet. But Orlando Cabrera is still able to make the catch. Can't make the tag, but... Mike Napoli does make the tag. Later in the inning, A's have runners on the corners and two outs. John Lackey gets Marco Scudero. Angels hang on to win it. Seven strong from Lackey. Rockies in San Diego looking for their fourth straight win, which would match their best win streak from all of 2006. David Wells. Top three, no score, two on, two out for Jamie Carroll. He hits it up the middle. Troy Tulowitzki and Chris Iannetta, they make it home. Carroll would get into a rundown. And usually, this is what happens in a rundown, usually tagged out. Rockies lead 2-0, bottom nine tied game. Adrian Gonzalez ripping a shot off the left center field wall. Jose Cruz Jr., he scores. Game over. Padres win 3-2. He's trying to avoid their third loss in four games, hosting the Orioles. Bottom one, Yanks down 1-0. A-Rod. Drills this one to deep left field right off of Steve Traxel's pitch. It's a two-run homer, second of the year. The Yankees go up 2-1. Two, Top two tied at two. Base is loaded for Melvin Mora. Sends this one down the right field line. It's it's the blooper. It's in over first base. Derek Jeter is going to have some trouble with the throw from Bobby Abreu as well. So Kevin Millar, Corey Patterson, Brian Roberts all score. Bottom two now. Orioles up 5-2. Hideki Matsui. The weak grounder and thrown out by Alberto Castillo. He would later be pinch hit for he left the game with a strained hamstring. Bottom eight now, Orioles up 7-3, two runners on Jason Giambi. Taking a Danny Baez pitch out of there. Right field, Giambi's first of the year with a three-run shot. Yankees cut the lead now, the deficit to 7-6. Bottom nine, two out. Robinson Cano on first, Derek Jeter against Chris Ray. Jeter hit by the pitch. Or does he? Take another look. It's kind of tough to tell if he actually is hit by the ball. A close call if Jeter goes around, too. Chris Ray tells the he thinks Jeter did go around. First base, um, Jerry Lane rules it a strike. So Jeter back to the plate. Ray throws the ball. Jeter walks. So men on first and second. Next batter, Bobby Abreu. No question there. Right in the leg, Abreu takes the base. So base is loaded. Alex Rodriguez to the plate. A-Rod watching the first strike go by, a 95-mile-an-hour fastball. Next pitch, he swings and misses the count. It's 1-2. One one on Hit in the air to deep center. Beckles, Patterson, away back. It's over his head and gone. Alex Rodriguez has just hit a walk-off. Two out. Bottom of the ninth. Grand slam. I just had a funny feeling it was going to come down to me somehow. And G had a great at bat. Bobby gets hit. And then I get forced and I hit the bottom of the park. It always seems to come down to me one way or another. A-Rod also said, I was so excited. I felt like a fool running around the bases like it was Little League. Yankees win 10-7.
Mets in Atlanta to face the Braves. Tom Glavin versus John Smoltz. Two former teammates battled for only the second time as starters. Bottom six tied at two. Glavin facing Matt Diaz with the bases loaded. In the direction of Sean Green. He said, I just got turned around. Dropped it. Andrew Jones scores. Braves up 3-2. Glavin five and a third. Five runs with just two of them earned on four hits. Top nine, five, three. Braves two out. Carlos Delgado on third. David Wright on first. Sean Green at the plate. And Wright's going. He's in the second without a throw, so the tying run on second with the first baseman back into his normal playing position, not holding on the runner. That was important because Bob Wickman to Green and Craig Wilson in position. Might have been a hit, but the Braves going to win at 5-3 as Wickman gets the save. Set out the Red Sox Friday night for their first win. They met again on Saturday. Sammy Sosa, 12 home runs shy of 600. Bottom of the six, one out. Rangers up one. Update. Sammy Sosa, just 11 shy of 600, his first homer since August 4th of 2005, 43rd different stadium he's homered in, tied with Fred McGriff and Ken Griffey Jr. for the most ever. And this takes us back to June 21st, 1989, Sosa's first career home run, also against the Red Sox. This one off Roger Clemens. Rangers going to win this for 8-4. Red Sox have just one home run in their first five games. Red Sox Rangers, Texas, taking the first of uh, two from Boston, as seen here on ESPN. Sunday Night Baseball, Sammy Sosa, Julio Lugo, Manny Ramirez, David Ortiz. They're a Wednesday night bunco group. They're getting together. What'd you say? That's was, men doing that. I was studying. Top first, scoreless, David Ortiz. Here we go. Let's see who's jumping around now, huh? Vicente Padilla, solo shot. Sox take one zip lead. Sosa got to see that go over his head. First of the year for Ortiz, and then off Padilla again in the third. Two run homer, first two hits of the game for the Sox. Homers. They lead 3 1. Ortiz doubling the Red Sox team total through the first five games. They have three all together now. Leading 3 2 in the eighth. Runners on the corners. Jonathan Papelbaum. Got to get a five out save. Tough work. Michael Young. He's an all star. He's done. Next batter. Mark Teixeira. That's popped up. Way up. Red Sox get out of that one in the ninth. Papelbaum. Gas to Hank Blaylock, 96 miles an hour. Brad Wilson, oh, just look at that. Punch him out. Papon gets a second save. Red Sox win it, 3-2. Mets and Braves split the first two in the battle for first week supremacy in the NL East. David Wright rips one to center. Andrew Jones, this isn't the first time he's run out there, grabbed one, got dirty. He does that quite frequently. Right. Many have gone before you. Sean Green with two outs in the second. Ties it at one, his first of the year. Fifth in 40 games as a Met. Next bat, oh, we have back-to-back -back home runs. Ramon Castro, solo shot. That would make sense. Second one of the back-to-backs, always a solo shot. His first of the year, 2-1. Bottom eight, runner on second, Brian McCann. Doubles the other way. When you go the other way, it's always a good piece of hitting. Chipper Jones scores. We're tied at two. Back-to-back -to -back homers are good. Back-to-back -back doubles work, too. Jeff Rancourt to right. Ryan Payne will score. Braves go up 3-2. Win by the same score. Bob Wickman, he's from Scotty, got the save. Atlanta takes two of three. Detroit and Kansas City now. These Tigers made a successful charge to victory. Oh, there's that Easter bunny. Bottom first, two out. Mark Tian. Off Jeremy Bonner. It's, Tien. it's Tien's up. First of the year. It's the first one Bonnerman has allowed this season. He gave up 18 a year ago in 214 innings. Top nine, David Risky pitching nobody else. Megal Ordonez. Yeah, a little bingo. A little something gets started here in a 2 nothing game. Everything starts with one, you know. So he's in at second. A couple of batters later. Yvonne Rodriguez. Former driller, Rodriguez delivers. Not far enough to get in a fountain, but it's far enough to put his team ahead and win a game. Tigers win it 3-2, a three-run shot. 23 home run against the Royals for Pudge. The Phillies and the Marlins. There they are, grown men doing this. Top of one, Scott Olson against Ryan Howard. He hits it with his bat. Jimmy Rollins, Jason Wirth, they will run hard. Howard's first two ribs of the season, Phillies lead 2-0. Bottom of one, Hanley Ramirez at the plate. We're going to show every inning in this one. Ramirez goes to short. Not good. Pulls up, limping as he's getting over to first. Ramirez, day to day with a hamstring injury. Dr. James Andrews of Birmingham, Alabama, not needed yet. Miguel Cabrera going to left. Dan Ugla will come and score. Marlins take a 5 3 lead with that. Let it soak in. Ninth inning. Phillies try to fight back. After walking Shane Victorino to load him up, Jorge Julio taken out. It's tough out there. Enter Lee Gardner for Florida, facing Michael Bourne. Bases loaded. 
And that's just another example of a man holding us down. Marlins win it 6-4, to four, putting everyone in the mood for the ultimate highlight. Preds reigning NL batting champ Freddy Sanchez off the DL making the start. Anybody with a high angle, Freddy Sanchez ropes the double just outside of the glove of Ryan Freel. Please, Eddie D, help a brother out. Pirates go up 4 0. Thank you, Billy. Pirates still up. It was actually Julian. <laughs> Top of the ninth, Jason Bay Yahtzee. It's out of here. Second of the year. Due over Pirates. Hold off the Reds 6 3 and get exact Duke his first win of the season. <laughs> Rockies Padres, San Diego, walk-off winner on Saturday. Fun enough, apparently they tried to do it again on Sunday. Aaron Cook getting the start. Two-hit shutout going to the bottom eight. Jose Cruz, Jr. That's gone. He thinks it's a home run anyway. Look at him. I'm running. Taking another look. Defense. That, that's a solo home run. Cruz first of the season. Game tied at 1-1. You can argue with Phil Cuzzy, but he's not changing his mind. Khalil Green on third after a triple. Potential winning run. Kevin Kuzmanoff. Walk-off single. It's like a home run. Look at the Padre back there getting very excited. 2-1 in extras. Padres.